Hey guys, so uh, today I want to answer a question that came in overnight um, from my Facebook Messenger and uh, an ad I was running, I think, uh, last night while people were watching football. Um, so here, here's what it was. Um, this young lady uh, from New York City actually asked, she says, hey, Daniel, you look like you're fit and seem to know what you're talking about, but how do I know you're even real? How do I know you're not just 40? You know, you say you're almost 55. How do I know that you actually, uh, you know, even have a degree in this stuff? And, and um, how do I know that you actually uh, can help me? And so great question, great question. And uh, so I would start off by, uh, you know, asking someone about their philosophy, you know, and what's your academic background? How does that relate to the real world? So in my case, um, I worked um, while studying health and human performance uh, in university. I voluntarily worked uh, and later was paid uh, as a guinea pig to work in the human performance um, and metabolic lab. And uh, that gave me an invaluable experience to understand um, the, that our, the human body is actually much more of a chemistry uh, or chemistry laboratory experiment than it is a, a bank account. It's not really, it's not just calories in, calories out that produces, you know, what we've got. We are a complex ecosystem biologically of different hormones and lots more you know, nervous system, um, the, the muscles, um, the, the bones, all of these things. It's a very complex system. So it's a systems approach. Now I do not deal with, um, diseases. What we deal with is wellness, trying to optimize habits so that you can look better, feel better and perform better. But be, that said, uh, I did work in a clinical setting for two different hospital-based wellness centers in the nineties in the U S and uh, in those situations, I worked with unique populations like diabetics, like hypertensive folks, like cardiac rehab patients, uh, and more. So I do have that experience and that sensibility. Personally, um, a, a number of years back, I realized my glucose level, my fasting glucose my a and my A1C were higher than I wanted them to be. I was getting close to 6.5 on the A1C, which is getting into what's uh, called pre-diabetic range. And I realized I needed to, to uh, go back to books and realize a lot of what I had learned um, and what is still taught, uh, you know, like low fat, high carb eating, that was killing my uh, glucose uh, level. It was making it go too high. My body was not, did not need all of that sugar from the, even from the complex carbs. So that was my case. It uh, gave me a personal anecdote. So I like to combine this, the scientific stuff. We look at the metabolic health. We look at the TEF, the thermic effect of food. We look at the NEAT, the non-exercise activity thermogenesis. We look at the basal metabolic rate. Um, we look at A1C. We look at intermittent fasting. We look at prevention uh, uh, risk factors, preventing risk factors that uh, can help us lower our risk of, uh, of chronic disease like heart disease, cancer, and dementia that I've got in my family and many of us do have. Uh, we also look, and I'm fascinated by the science of epigenetics. Um, the epigenetics is basically, uh, you can look it up online, it's very complex. I won't go into, into the weeds, but basically that your lifestyle choices, your habits impact how your DNA um, expresses itself. Um, that's uh, a, a simple metaphor is that your DNA loads the gun and your lifestyle habits pull the trigger. All right. Uh, so there was actually a Nobel prize for science, uh, a few years back from a team of scientists that really went deep into epigenetics. And I like to translate this to our daily habits. That's part of what I do with vitality on, um, few other last things I get into, uh, we talk about biohacks, uh, and I've got some simple biohacks, simple habits that you can do that will take you almost no time that can improve how you look and feel. And uh, as a busy parent myself, um, I focus everything I do on people in the real world who are really busy and who don't want to, they're not going to do the Spartan race. You're not going to do a, you know, a, uh, a pro athlete competition. You're not going to be a pro bodybuilder, but you are wanting to rock your, your world with your 
business or your career and be the best uh, family member you can be, whether that's with kids or with uh, helping aging parents, you know, real world stuff that we're dealing with. Um, all of this with the with the difficulties of coronavirus and lockdowns makes it more important than ever that we get our healthy habits under control in a sustainable, simple, and even fun way when possible. That's why I like to gamify stuff, which is a whole nother video. All right, so that's a little bit about what I got for you. And um, I'm gonna do another video soon, which is gonna be about myths about um, health, fitness, and weight loss that I think is gonna rock some people's world. All right. Time for me to go get in a quick 15-minute workout and then get some lunch. Over and out.